Sneemaster! Hi everyone, Sneemaster here. Sorry for taking so long after my last video. I've been playing and testing 317 to see the various issues and bugs. Plus it's still a fun patch, even with the bugs. With 317 allowing players to sell loot, and knowing how easy it is to die and lose your gear, loot is very important. One good spot to get it is from bunker missions. Just taking out the baddies alone can get you tons of gear, but you have to watch out for turrets around those bunkers. One method is to land outside of turret range and drive there. It helps to have a good ground vehicle to get close to those bunkers to pick up all the armor and weapons without being shot at by the turrets. Anyway, I was curious to see what ground vehicles would fit inside a Cutlass Black to do this, especially with some of the newer ground vehicles. So, without further ado, here are the results of my testing. First, we have hover vehicles. The CNOU hover quad fits perfectly in the Cutlass Black with room to spare. You might be able to fit three in there. It has a small amount of internal cargo to put things like food or ammo. Next, we have the Drake Dragonfly that is supposed to be able to carry small cargo boxes on the saddlebags. You can fit two Dragonflies side by side inside the Cutlass. It's a bit longer than the Hover Quad, but it has weapons and a shield at least. The Aupoa Nox is next. It's not as wide or long as a Dragonfly, so it definitely fits, and it also comes with a shield and weapons. You can fit two or maybe three Noxes in a Cutlass Black if you squish them. We'll have to see how the future Origin X1 Hover Vehicle works. For ground vehicles, we start with a Greycat PTV buggy. It's tiny and easily fits in the Cutlass Black. You can carry a friend with you, but no cargo. Just watch out when going up the ramp. If you hit it at the wrong angle, the PTV will explode. You can fit two or three PTVs in the Cutlass Black. Next, we have the Tumbrel Cyclone with a passenger seat and cargo space in the back for one SCU and some internal stowage space. The base model fits with a little space on the side for cargo or to get in and out. I also tried the Cyclone MT with a gun and missiles and it also fits just fine, so I assume the other Cyclone models should fit quite as well. The Great Cat Rock does fit in the Cutlass Black, but I did not try the Rock DS. I suspect it won't fit with a big arm on the side. Sadly, anything larger than the Cyclone does not seem to fit. I tried the Ursa Rover, but it seems CIG made the opening just a tad too thin for the Ursa, probably on purpose, even though it would fit inside, just fine, if the door were bigger. Obviously, neither the Nova Tank nor the Ballista or Spartan will fit either, as they are much bigger. We will have to see how the future Origin G12 or RSI Lynx buggies will fit. The G12 looks sort of tall, and we have no images at all of the Lynx. The future Tumbrel Ranger motorcycles should definitely fit once they release, as they should fit even in an Adventure Titan. There's also rumors of a Drake Mule ground vehicle coming up for the Fleet Week show, so keep your eyes and wallets open for that one. Some say it might be a single-seat vehicle, so it shouldn't be too large. Possibly it'll be like a forklift truck using a tractor beam. If it fits in the Cutlass, that'll be great. It would be logical for Drake to make a utility loading vehicle that fits in their ships anyway. Pirates have to load their loot somehow, am I right? I also tried the Cutlass Red. So far, I can only seem to fit one Grey Cat PTV for sure. The Hover Quad or Nox look like they might fit, barely, but I haven't tried them. The Drake Dragonfly would stick out the back if you leave the door open, but it might barely fit. Anything else, like the Cyclone, is just too wide or too long. You could try to fit them, but they would either stick out so much they would fall off the ship when you take off, or the side entrances of the vehicle would be blocked, or they would block the entrance into the ship. Sadly, I did not test the Cutlass Blue, but it appears to have the same space in the back as the Cutlass Red, so my assumption is they fit the same vehicles. Alright, so that's it for the review of the Cutlass ground vehicle testing. If you are interested in jumping into Star Citizen, go ahead and use my referral code to get an extra 5,000 in-game credits to spend on anything you like. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to get more videos. Let me know if you want me to review a particular ship or item. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out. Okay, catch you all next time.